Welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, about the number of ATPs that are produced in the aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. So first of all, uh, we are going to discuss okay, what is the difference between uh, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Okay. So aerobic respiration uh, is basically the type of respiration that occurs in the presence of oxygen and anaerobic respiration is the type of respiration that occurs in the absence of oxygen okay so first of all uh, either it is aerobic respiration or anaerobic respiration glycolysis will occur but there is a difference between uh, the energy production level of energy production okay so uh, there is a thing we are going to discuss glycolysis glycolysis uh, is a process that is breakdown of glucose and occur in the cytosol of the cell so from the glucose to pyruvate uh, the number of atps that are produced and number of atps that are used we are going to discuss now so glucose glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate then fructose 1 6 bisphosphate glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate then 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate glycerate 3 phosphate 2 phosphoglycerate phosphoenol pyruvate and then pyruvate uh, the concern is we are not concerned with the glycolysis. We are concerned only to the number of ATPs and the energy production in the glycolysis. So uh, when uh, it, the conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate, one ATP is used because one phosphate is used uh, to conversion of the glucose 6 phosphate. And another ATP is used uh, when the fructose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. So another ATP is used. So uh, we have to write ATP, ATP uh, this and two ATPs are used here. So uh, two ATPs. So then uh, when the uh, glyceride at 3 phosphate is interconvertible with dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So there are two molecules of glyceride, uh, basically glyceride at 3 phosphate. So glyceride at 3 phosphate is converted into 1 3 bis phosphoglycerate and 1 NADH is produced. So one in NADH on either side. So total of two NADH are produced from two sides. So two NADH are produced here. So then one three bis phosphoglycerate is converted into glycerate three phosphate. One ATP is produced. So one ATP uh, from this side and one ATP from this side. So two ATPs are produced from substrate level phosphorylation. What is substrate level phosphorylation? When the reactant is converted into product and the ATP is produced, this is called as substrate level phosphorylation. And then at the uh, in the last step, when the phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvate, another ATP is produced. So two ATPs molecule from here. So overall from the glycolysis, we get the four ATPs molecules from the substrate level phosphorylation and two NADH from the uh, glycolysis and two ATPs are produced. So uh, simply we can say uh, from the glycolysis, uh, if it is anaerobic, so it is only those ATPs produced which are substrate level phosphorylation are ATPs. So uh, two ATPs used, so net ATP are from the anaerobic respiration but when it is aerobic respiration so we get the four ATPs from the substrate level for relation uh, phosphorylation we also get the two NADH and each NADH uh, will give you three ATPs molecule by electron transport chain and electron transport chain needs oxygen for the conversion uh, from the NADH to ATP so from the two NADH we get the six ATPs so overall, uh, and uh, net of, or uh, sorry, a gross of 10 ATPs are produced from the glycolysis in the aerobic respiration. And uh, from these 10, four are direct uh, ATPs which are uh, formed from the substrate level phosphorylation. So we get the 10 ATPs uh, on uh, average or on a gross and two ATPs are used in the whole process of glycolysis. So this is the uh, glycolysis process. So we are going to discuss the next uh, process of the, this. So this is the, uh, from the pyruvate, it is converted into acetyl CoA. So when uh, the pyruvate is converted into acetyl CoA, there are two ATPs that are uh, used from here. 
from the uh, crossing of the membrane for the crossing of the membrane two ATP are used so when the pyruvate is converted to acetyl coa there is a production of nadh one nadh so we get three atps from here so uh, you have to remember this so when the uh, citric acid cycle starts so it uh, when the uh, oxaloacetate is converted to citrate and isocitrate and one nadh yeah, produce here one in, uh, nadh produce from an alpha glutarate is converted into succinyl coa and when succinyl coa is uh, converted into succinate we get gtp which is interconvertible to atp so we get one atp uh, at the substrate level phosphorylation or direct atp that is produced when the succinyl coa is converted into succinate so when the succinate is converted into fumarate, we get FADH2, which is converted into malate, and we get another NADH. So uh, overall, uh, if we uh, summarize, so we get three NADH from each cycle. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, three NADH from each cycle and one FADH, one F FADH and one ATP from one cycle. And we know there are two pyruvate that are uh, formed from the uh, glucose and two cycles will uh, uh, start in the citric acid cycle. So we can say simply uh, the three and three, six, six NADH are produced from each, uh, sorry, from the each glucose molecule in the citric acid cycle. And plus two FADH and two ATP from the substrate level phosphorylation. So summarizing this, I am summarizing this the whole uh, process. So summarizing for you, uh, glycolysis. Sorry, sorry. You can say this is glycolysis. This is acetyl CoA formation. And this is citric acid cycle. So this is the direct glucose formation ATPs and this is NADH and this is FADH. So summarizing for you and this is use. So in the glycolysis, we get the direct substrate level phosphorylation. We get ATPs, four ATPs from the direct substrate level phosphorylation. NADH two, FADH zero, use two, okay. Uh, for the formation of acetyl CoA direct uh, or substrate level phosphorylation ATP is zero. NADH, yes, one. So we can see it's one. FADH, zero, used two. Two ATPs are used. Okay. So citric acid cycle, we get substrate level phosphorylation one from the E cycle, so two from the that. NADH, so six, three from either cycle. FADH one from the E cycle, so two and used zero. Okay, so uh, we can uh, add them. So from the direct or substrate level phosphorylation, we get six ATP, NADH six and two eight and one nine. So nine and FADH two and used four ATPs. So we know each NADH is converted into a three ATPs molecule. So multiplying by three and each FADH is converted into 2, so multiplying by 2, okay? So we get 27 sorry, sorry uh, one thing uh, I forgot to mention uh, there are two pyruvates, so conversion of two pyruvate into acetyl CoA, we get two NADH here. Sorry, uh, this is the point. So we get 10 NADH. Okay, so this is 10. Sorry, so we get 10 NADH. So this is 30. Okay, 30 ATP is from NADH, 4 ATP is from the FADH, and 6 ATP is from the direct or substrate level phosphorylation. So summarizing this. 6 from direct for substrate level phosphorylation, 30 from NADH, and 4 from FADH. We get 40 ATPs from complete oxidation of glucose or complete breakdown of glucose as a growth. So, 4 of which are used, uh, we know 4 are used. So, we can say we get, we can say we get. 
calculation you have to remember so that's all and you have to remember this so i am showing you some mcqs so you will get about it so these are mcqs you have to solve yourself so this is the whole thing i was going uh, i was mentioning there so thank you so much that's all from